Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. My name is Denise. At this channel, we discuss dating advice for mature women who would like to marry a man of a higher financial level than themselves. I was I was um, thinking about my introduction and what this channel was about. And then I realized that you can have um, a man, you can still practice hypergamy and a man have a higher financial standing than you do, but he is in the same social class as you are because of his environment, how he grew up and things of that nature. So even though his income could be high, he still may have friends from his childhood where maybe they were, you know, living in the hood or in a working class neighborhood. And um, he still may have some of those values. So I said to myself, you know, you have six figure men who are plumbers, electricians, and, you know, they don't socialize with the high society people and, you know, CEOs and things of that nature, but they make good money. So anyway, this thing is so convoluted and nuanced. There's never anything that's cut and dry in life, right? So I have good news for you. Remember I went on a date with the man I met at the bar, bar lounge? Mm -hmm. Well, we had a second date um, this past weekend and mm -hmm. we went dancing afterwards. He says he likes to dance. So I just went with the flow and we had a great time together, a great time together. Um, this man thinks that you know, I'm gorgeous to him. He, uh, you know, this is just a second date. So he said that, you know, he, he gave me his business card when we, when I met him at the bar lounge, he gave me his business card because he said he liked what he saw. So, um, great. And so we went to a, restaurant that we thought was a traditional setup for a restaurant, but it wasn't. It was a restaurant slash lounge. And I'm noticing like the newer restaurants, not really upscale, but the decor is nice and very modern and sleek, but they are, I think hookah bar was in the name as well. So it is a lounge type environment. It's it's an open space. You walk in, the bar is to the left. You, it has the TVs going, you know, about, I think it was one or two flat screens in the bar area. And there were about two or three in the, in the quote dining area, but it really wasn't a dining area because there were no dining tables. The tables were more the height of they might be considered T height where they're not 29, 30 inches like a dining table and they're not low 16, 17 inches like a coffee table. So they're in between where it's really not conducive to, to enjoying your meal. Maybe I'm old and mature and all of that, but it's like as a person who's prone to dropping food on her clothing usually you know this, this chest area <laughs> is where i end up dropping it um but i didn't that uh that time but i did drop something in my lap luckily it didn't stain my dress so um yeah and so you know there's hookah smoking and the music is like every curse word every profanity profane word in the dictionary was said in the videos or the music because they had the video on that didn't match the music. But the music was like, you know, naming every vulgar body part of a man and a woman. It was just like both of us was like, wait, this is way too much. And so we said, well, let's just eat and run. So um, I don't want to you know, tell too much, too many details because this one, y'all, seems promising. It seems very, very promising. I would just speak in generalities that 
he said some things of his own initiative. Because remember, back in my other two videos, I said I've changed my dating strategy because it wasn't working. And um, so I didn't bring up marriage. I didn't bring up a relationship. I didn't bring up any of that stuff. I was just like, I'm here to have a good time, enjoy his company. You know, um, my motto is look good and show up. And so that's what I did. I looked good and I showed up and I was in my feminine energy. And he commented on that saying that, you know, you're a lady. I know that you are a lady, but you act like a lady. So I was very pleased with that. Um, and he said the same thing um, on our second day and when I first met him, he said that I act like a lady. And so... It just seems really promising. So, um, like I said, it's just a second date. He He's pursuing me. He's making all the arrangements for the date, for the date, two dates we've had. The first date, as you know, was on, and I'll link that also my first date review. I um, The first date was on his side of town, which really caused me to travel like 45 minutes away. And so this time he arranged the date on my side of town and I was able to, I had never heard of this restaurant, so it was new. And I knew it was new because where it was located, I had never seen it before in, in recent times. So he, um, yeah, so he's just a take charge kind of guy. So I was really happy about that. And I used, I'm going to do a separate video on this, but I used Mina Irfan's techniques um, last week or a couple of days ago. I did a post saying, you know, please look at this uh, video by Mina Irfan when she talked about the title of it is called Subliminal Seduction. And I pretty much wrote down everything she said. But the video originally was an hour and a half, but she said she was going to put it into one of her courses and she, she said it would be taken down in 20, in 24 to 48 hours. So I got half of that. So maybe I got 45 minutes of the information and then I, the rest of it, I kind of sort of remembered. So I did a couple of the things that she said to do. She said to um, wear something like a shawl. Let me see if I can just pull a shawl. Oh, here's something. I just bought this. This is a regular scarf, a winter scarf, but I have a shawl like a pashmina that has like a little um, sheen to it. It's thin, it's a um, like a summer spring scarf. I mean, shawl. So it's it's this wide. This is how wide it is. And so I had on plum, a dark plum, and I had dark plum uh, matching heels. And so I had this green with it. And so I used this green, the scarf, like this. And she said that the scarf acts, you can create a little mystery with it. It's something a little fussy, very feminine. And... um you know, y'all always show a little bit of cleavage. So I had a little bit of cleavage showing. And so, you know, every now and then I would wrap it like this and, you know, let it fall off like that and that kind of stuff. And what else did I do? I had, I had him order for me. I told him I didn't want beef and I didn't want pork. No beef and no pork, but anything else was good. So he ordered a salmon dish for, for me and a chicken lasagna dish for himself, both of which were very good. We were impressed, but starved. It took them 30 minutes to bring the food out. At this point, I had a headache and I said, can we just go? Because <laughs> we were going to go dancing and, you know, at the, at the club, they always have some some chicken uh, chicken wings, you know, barbecue, lemon pepper, hot, Hawaiian, any kind of chicken wing you want, you can always get at the club or the bar. So, um, but, you know, when we were getting ready to go, of course, the waitress wanted us to, the server wanted us to wait. So we did, and it was worth the wait, but 
I don't like getting that hungry. I just don't like getting that hungry. It's never, and it just doesn't feel good. So, um, yeah. So then we went dancing. I was very impressed with his dance skills. As a former dancer, um, I usually outdance my partners, meaning not on a dance floor. Like I, I tone it down to go with whatever level they are at, but I'm a pretty good dancer. So, and so is he. So I really like that. That impressed me with him, that he is a really good dancer. He was doing some salsa moves in there and um, just very masculine, take charge kind of guy. I like the way he talks with confidence and a little ba bass in his voice. Not a lot, but a little bit. And, you know, he likes my energy. So, yeah, like I said, we went on our second date. I'm going to keep it to generalities. And we enjoyed each other. So I did get a second date. How about that? Because remember, I've been going on these dates and doing these dating reviews and not getting second dates. So now... I've gotten a second date and he's talked about us getting together again, not this weekend because I'm busy doing with family, but the following weekend. And, um, as it goes on, if it's meant to be, and it gets more serious, I won't be talking about that relationship because I want to preserve his privacy. So, um, I might just say things like it's going well, it's going well. Yeah, so that's the update on my date with the guy I met at the um, man, because he's like 63, like a grown man. Um, Oh, and I don't know if I said this in one of my other videos, the other video as well, is that on our first date, he made the reservation closer to him. And when I, he t I told him where I lived, he said, wow, I'm the man. So I feel like I should be coming to you. So I said, next time, next time. And so that really, that really impressed me. Maybe impressed is too strong of a word, but that was like a, a good check mark to say when he said, you know, as the man, I feel like I should be coming, I should be coming to you, a traveling father. So I like that. And yeah, so I'll keep you update on little things and stuff like that. But, you know, I want to preserve the privacy of the re of the new situation, <laughs> the new dating. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.